Now everybody, let me tell you a story about Hollywood shame With terrible actors and scripts collide Oh what a mess it is on the other side Saw the lights, camera action begin But all I got was a movie that plunged in a spin From the first scene to the credits that roll oh, Hollywood disaster, you've taken its toll Silver screen says full That movies galore Can't help but wonder what the hell are they making these for Throwing some cliches to shot the predictable plot It's a train wreck, I tell you it's all they ever And now for our feature presentation. Welcome to the Silver Screen Cesspool, where we review the poo. Ooh. And now your host, the surveyor of <laughs> cinema, the mocker of moronic movies, the terror of Tiny Town, the last known survivor of Battlefield Earth, the one of many, Alan Smith E. Tonight's film is. Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies. The basic premise of this movie is that the Nazi zombie thing has been overdone and is fairly cliche now. So instead, we're going to set it in Austria and replace all the Nazi uniforms with the most humorous of the pants, the Lederhosen. The movie opens with a hotshot American snowboarder pulling a wacky stunt where he snowboards down the mountain in his birthday suit, only to discover there's a Make-A-Wish kid complete with wheelchair waiting to meet him. The movie goes kind of downhill from there, and not just because that's how snowboarding works. It's a fairly standard zombie movie, except everybody is doing their best Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation. There's zombie deer, and, uh, the black people don't die first. But, uh, that's mainly because the movie was cast before they swapped out the Nazis for Austrians. Not a lot of black Nazis. Spoiler alert, though. Everyone who wears Lederhosen in this movie turns into a zombie. At one point, our protagonists try to escape the living dead by picking up a menu board and walking behind it like their mystery ink in the Hanna-Barbera cartoon. The plan falls apart when they turn around briefly and the menu slides away on the ice. Much like their mystery ink in a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. The zombies then slip on the ice as well. The living slip on the ice and... uh Robert Van Winkle is as cool as ice. The movie progresses. The zombies become easier to kill and get killed in increasingly absurd and comedic ways, often involving the deadliest of all winter sporting equipment, the snowboard. The biggest laugh from this movie, however, came halfway through the credits as someone was credited for their role as Penis Double. I don't know about you, but I think I might leave that off my LinkedIn profile. Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies is available on Tubi. Silver Screen Cesspool is written, directed, and starring Alan Smithy. Assistant Director, Producer, and Stunt Coordinator, Alan Smithy. Boom Mic Operator, Sound Editing and Music by Alan Smithy. Construction Coordinator, The Amazing Rando. Makeup by Crayola. Catering was provided by the Soylent Corporation. Alan Smithy will be back in Return of the Curse of the Planet of the Prehistoric Bikini Ninjas versus Kingdom of the Bride of the Killer, Shark Cheerleaders 2, Electric Boogaloo.